Hey guys, welcome back. And this is the continuation of our image segmentation using traditional machine learning topic. And until now we have, let's actually switch to the code. Until now we have uh, uh, imported a training image and uh, added the pixel value values to the data frame and added other uh, uh, feature, you know, extracted values. You know, we applied a whole bunch of filters and added those as additional columns to our pandas data frame and then we split that data into training and testing data sets okay and we use the train data set to train a model in random forest classifier and then we predicted using that model on the test data set and then we printed out accuracy and we got excited about getting 98 percent accuracy and then we printed the feature list and their importances and uh, realized that maybe uh, the top five, six, seven actually described are enough to give us the required accuracy that we need. These are the most important features and as you go down, these are not so important, okay? So now let's actually in this tutorial look at uh, how to store this model that we just trained and use it for future uh, purposes, okay? The way we do that is by pickling it, okay? P-I-C-K-L-E. So pickle just creates, uh, uh, takes this, uh, uh, the, the, the object from the memory and then dumps it into this, uh, uh, into uh, one file that we can use later on. So first, let's give it a name. Let's call this file name uh, sandstone underscore model, okay? Because we are looking at the sandstone sample. So, uh, that is the file name. So now I want to pickle it. So pickle dot dump. Okay, this is how it saves the file. Okay, and uh, dump what? I want to dump the model, right? I mean, that's the model that I want to dump. Okay, and, uh, and uh, where, you know? So this is where I mean, I could have just typed the sandstone right there, but I'm just calling the file name and uh, I want to dump it in the, write it in the binary format. Again, remember W stands for write and B is for binary. Okay. So we are dumping, you, we are using pickle to dump the sandstone, I mean, this model into a file name called sandstone model in write mode and uh, B stands for binary. That's pretty much it. So now that we dumped it, it is saved. You know, when we run this, it actually saves a file called sandstone model on my hard drive. Okay, so let's go ahead and run it. Okay, it actually saved a file called sandstone underscore model on my drive. Let's open it. Well, I cannot open it. Let's actually load it and then, uh, and then uh, make some predictions, okay? So let's say, okay, we are done. A week later, you open this, and then you're like, okay, I wanna use that model to segment something. So load model, okay? And the way you do that is, again, use the uh, pickle, and this time, instead of dump, obviously, it's uh, load, and then I wanna open a file, and which file do I wanna open? I can give the file name, but since I already defined something called file name here i'm just going to use that okay so my file name is nothing but sandstone underscore model okay and in what mode in the read binary mode that's pretty much it so now that the model is loaded now i can just uh, do some sort of a prediction so let's say uh, my result or resulting image or whatever you want to call loaded underscore model right this is the model i just loaded sorry load underscore model Okay, so this is the model I just opened or imported, and now I just want to do predict. Remember, previously we just did model.predict. All I'm doing is saving this to the hard drive, and then I'm loading it, and then dot .predict. That's it. Let's go ahead and predict on, instead of X test, let's just predict on all the pixels in X, so we can just reshape it and look at the final resulting image. Okay, so that's it. And uh, the result is there, but then this would be a single column. Let's convert the column into our original image size which is 1024 by 996 okay so the best way to do that is i'm going to call this as my segmented image or just segmented equal to my result and i want to reshape my result into what shape well i want to reshape this into my original image which is image dot shape 
okay so this is nothing but uh, 1024 by 996 instead of typing those values because next time my image may be different so i'm just using image dot shape here that's it so now let's uh, visualize this and how do we do that so let's use matplotlib i'm not sure if i imported that i don't think so import pyplot as plt okay once it's imported let's im show and uh, segmented and let's use a jet c map i like this because it shows colors very nicely in fact let's go ahead and dump it into onto the hard drive let's say im save let's call this segmented rock that should be fine dot jpeg okay and this is nothing but segmented and again our color map i want to use jet so let's go ahead and run this one final time so that looks great right i mean again that's small so that's exactly why i actually saved it onto my hard drive so let me open that saved image which is segmented underscore rock and uh, here it is let me pull this to this specific screen minimize this and how well does that compare with our original image so let's open our original image here is the original image and this is the segmented image and in fact it makes sense to compare that with our training image right i mean this is so if you compare these two that's not a bad job actually I mean, you can see where the uh, errors are. You see some of the yellow pixels like right here. I don't see them here. So wherever there is some sort of an uncertainty, you can kind of see them uh, right here. But that's a great segmentation. If I'm happy with this, then I'm going to apply this to all the remaining 500 images in my folder. And let's do exactly that in the next tutorial. OK, so now that we have a working model that we are all happy with, let's apply that to all the 500 images and uh, go into the production mode for our machine learning uh, uh, segmentation. So thank you very much for your attention. And again, we are not done. Stay tuned for the next tutorial. Thank you. And please like this video and subscribe to my channel.